What is up, everybody? How is it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. You know, I don't think I, you know, I forgot to change the actual, uh, I forgot to change, or it is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Happy Wednesday. I forgot to change the schedule, but anyway, it's good to see everybody. Welcome to the last stream, the last PC build stream before Christmas. We may do an Amazon stream tomorrow. Depends on what Tom can find. Oh, music is a bit loud. Okay. Let's fix that. Oh, you know what? I know why, because we had it set for gameplay yesterday. Okay, good. Uh, so anyway, uh, the last PC build stream before uh, the holiday, we'll see if there's an Amazon Live thing tomorrow, but it is so good to see everybody. Um, how is it going? Hey, how's it going? We are here for another holiday PC build giveaway. Uh, this is one that we're going to be giving away care thanks to the fine folks at Seagate Gaming, Asus, and then of course Newegg, uh, who sponsors all of these kind of streams. So it should be another awesome giveaway. This is the one that if you are a sub for the month of December or even January, this is definitely the one that's going to basically get you extra bonus entries for sure. Um, so you got some uh, you got some things going on as well. So uh, let's talk about the giveaways that are going to happen live on the stream as well as the giveaways that are wrapping up for the month of December. First and foremost, uh, this is the usual. If we get two level five hype trains during the show, we'll give away two. Uh, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. We get 500 likes, five zero zero likes on the YouTube stream. We'll also give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we uh, down there in the bottom corner, you'll see where it says zero. If that gets to 50, we give away a $50 Nui gift card. Gets to 100, we give away a $100 Nui gift card. 150, we give away a $150 Nui gift card. Then we start giving away CPUs, GPUs, and the dream. Let's see if we can make it happen for Christmas. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome just to give away a bunch of really cool stuff before we get to the Christmas break uh, on the PC build. Finally, for the month of December, you have three streams left, I think, three streams total left, including this one, to get in on the 3080 Ti sub-only giveaway for the month of December. Uh, we're giving that to one lucky viewer here on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash robytech. So if you're over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, drop your free Amazon Prime subscription. That gets you basically a free entry. Now, if you've gotten one of the gifted subs from so many other people, you can do things like basically drop a Prime subscription and actually double your chances to win uh, because you get extra entries for every sub entry. So if you wanna get extra entries, you can do things like gift subs, uh, gets you extra entries as well as subscribing to tier two, which gets you five extra entries or tier three that gets you 10 extra entries uh, respectively. And so all of that is basically, we're on the last few streams before that happens. And then finally, for this particular PC, if you are a sub, you will get extra entries in on this giveaway as well. So great time to sub and subs will get first dibs on these mats, which actually got delivered today. So uh, guys, look for an announcement in the subscriber uh, in the subscriber chat over on Discord for when these go for sale because there's only 90 of them. They'll sell out probably almost instantly, but don't worry, we have more on order and we'll continue ordering them until they get there. So it should be fun. Yeah, it should be a very good time. Thank you very much. Kicking it off right now, day alive, kicking it off with the first sub of the stream. And thank you very much for doing that, dude. And there we are, Soul Patrol 510, subscribe with Prime as well. And let's see if we can get that hype train going and kicking things off. Right there's Aka Farukon drive, doing his Prime sub. Gold Cap Group also driving a, a prime, uh, prime sub as well. Is the PC, no, it'll be up later in the week. It might be as early as NetWeeks, but it, it'll be up very soon. We have to take photos and stuff of it for people. I don't know if, uh, Trey, this one might be European. This one actually might be uh, worldwide. So we're, I think this one, this one might be worldwide. I can't quote me on that yet. And there we go, Techstat, subscribe with Prime. We got Dad Esky, one community gifted sub right there. Mr. McKay, is it Mr. Mr. Mike Yi, oh, Mr. Mikey Lee. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. We got Cardeem18 subscribing with Prime. And things are kicking off right there. Romello Brown, 52, one month at tier one. Thank you very much for that as well. How can we get a GPU these days, guys? Uh, I will tell you, Total Tech, uh, the, te the Total Tech um, thing for Best Buy, I got some, hey, Red Dragon dropping his five gifted subs. I got some Pokemon cards today, so you get exclusive entry into getting early access to GPU drops. Uh, you also get PlayStation 5 drops. So Total Tech is also an investment that you might want to look into. Obviously, EVGA, uh, Newegg. Uh, I know a lot of people who are actually winning the Newegg Shuffle recently. So it feels like, uh, it feels like supply is getting better. 
Um, so those are going to be my best options. Do you have to subscribe to enter? You do not have to subscribe to enter any of the giveaways. The only giveaway that you will not be eligible for if you do not subscribe is the 3080 Ti giveaway. Um, that one. And then if you want to read all the rules, they're over at Discord. Uh, Mick, uh, Merkin Menard resubscribed with one month. Three month anniversary. Thank you very much. And then there is uh, Red Dragon also hooking us up as well. <clears throat> <clears throat> Current PC giveaway, yeah. So we will have them coming in there. And there's Juggalo Jimmy dropping his thousand bits. Like like a clock, my friend. Like a clock. <clears throat> uh, Vlogging Express, we don't just give away. Your best chance if you want to get a gaming PC is to enter on the giveaways. So we don't just give them away. So, <clears throat> yeah. So there's, there's Cole right there with it, making sure going from there. So, yeah. <clears throat> Look at all the bit love and all that sort of stuff. It looks like people are having a good time. Um and anything uh when is the gpu giveaway the gpu giveaway will happen uh it, we uh close the winners and then uh we have some stuff over on discord we clean up and then we'll announce the winner the second week of january but it closes <clears throat> yay we're not we're not origin what is that <clears throat> yeah we're oh yeah there we go yeah <clears throat> so yeah I appreciate that. So that's when they, they always happen. Guys, we're already at level four. Still got four minutes left. Let's finish it out. We're doing good, Midnight War. Thanks for saying hi. Just just getting things going off, kicking it off with the uh, kicking it off with the uh, the uh, subs, the the hype train. So always like this. It's like it always kicks off with a nice way. GT Beastie one month at tier one. So so you Lulia Bonafide, if you want to enter for the giveaways, you there they'll all happen at the end of the stream. So no jack, it's actually right here. Um, because it's pouring, the window isn't open as wide as it normally is. Um, so I don't have the jacket on today. Um, I just oh, knocked my pop filter off. Where'd it go? Well, oh, crud, I need that pop filter. I don't know what it flew off somewhere. Actually, I think my, where'd my pop filter go? Oh, it's right here and on the table. Uh, who won yesterday? We had a lot of winners yesterday. Thank you very much, Ward <laughs> Appreciate that. <clears throat> hey, Comical Rock. Yeah, usually we don't do three in a row, but this week, we are, this so far, we have been doing three in a row. So, yeah. Thank you very much, 412 Berna. Thank you very much for the Prime subscription. So, yeah. Uh, Red Zombie, you're on, you're on twitch.tv slash Nui. You got to pop over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. Hey, thank you, already Got Tokyo dropping a gift, uh, dropping a sub as well. Prime subs. Look at all those new Prime subs. Welcome, new family members. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's uh, it's it, there, it's open here. I like to keep the temperature low. So yeah. Hi from Greece. Thank you very much. Uh, uh it's a Ti Thai Ginger. I like that. That's a restaurant called Thai Ginger here in uh, Seattle. I really like their Thai food. There it is right there. Thank you for the Prime sub as well. <clears throat> Looks like everybody, who's who's done with Christmas shopping? Because that's what, that's one of the main reasons I can only, like I couldn't, I wouldn't, I couldn't do any more streams, like big streams. I actually have to go Christmas shop. I've actually only got two more things to take care of though. So I'm actually really close. <clears throat> so it's getting, it's getting, it's getting close. It finished in November. I should start. <laughs> I like that. Widespread gaming thing for the prime sub. Trave underscore. Thank you for the uh, one month at tier one, too. I'm not done yet. Don't go. To, yeah, I don't like right now. It's like I think I got to go to Safeway to get some gift cards. I think that's the I got gift cards to get. And then I've got to go to the Razor store in Seattle. I think that's my last my last two things. Uh, everything else. My uh, my uh, uh, is all done. Uh, unfortunately, wrapping is not done, which is always like, that's always like, that's the part that gives me anxiety because I got to wrap it all. Ro watching Roby check at the gym. That makes me feel good. Midnight War, thank you for the Prime sub. Red Zombie 91, thank you for the Prime sub. Guys, we're almost done with this. Love, we're 23 away. Dan the Manor, Manor, man, man. Yeah, there we go. 82, thank you for the Prime, uh, the one month. Wrapping, so so you guys know how I cable manage. I don't know if you know this. You don't because I've never told you. But I used to work at a wrapping booth. Uh, it was one of my first jobs when I was, it was pre-high school. And we used to do it um, as a fundraiser to go skiing with my church. And uh, we, like, part of this was wrapping. And so I learned how to wrap presents nicely. And so my wife hates it when I wrap because I take so much time 
to wrap. Like I crease all the edges. Like it looks, like it looks super, uh, like it always looks like something that came out of a catalog and it drives my wife nuts because I just, I take forever to wrap. <clears throat> no, I didn't throw down some beats. <laughs> yeah. So I just like, I like for me, it's like Christmas wrapping is like cable management. It's never fast. <clears throat> Watching your stream while self-isolating. Soon I hope to return to my new build. Is it just not going in there? Yeah, my OCD does go beyond cable management. It also goes to present wrapping apparently. <clears throat> yes, you have to be on the stream to basically be entered to win uh, some of the giveaways. You have to be present, yes. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, Roby must be so good at rapping. He raps, yeah, all of, yeah, I do rap a lot of the Santa presents, yeah. <clears throat> if there is, yes, AO, that is true. If there's any cable management to be done, I do that as well. And right now my house is like in like wrecked state because we have a bunch of people over there doing a bunch of renovations right now. Guys, two minutes and 31 seconds left. We're at 28%. Let's not, we want to make sure we enter, get all the giveaways going in there as well. So yeah. Um, uh, the stream's up for three hours, about three and a half hours, almost four hours. Whoa, 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 my son is listening. What does that mean, Sigmatic? I didn't, I didn't tell him anything that he was getting for Christmas. On how to wrap a refrigerator, I have wrapped a washing machine before. Um, and uh, we did it with uh, multiple rolls of paper. And it is, it took, it took about four hours. And then they would never let me wrap big presents again. Oh, wait, again. So that's the thing, because I, uh, I lined up all of the lines, we hid the creases, and then um, I put big um, ribbon where all the creases were, so you actually look like it was a single giant sheet of Christmas paper. Um, and it was, all a, uh, it was all silver. So hey, Ty Ginger dropping five gifted more subs, one minute and 32 seconds left, guys. And so it looked really, really gay. <clears throat> Uh, chat, the case over here to the left is the build that we're going to be using. It's the P500A. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. That's for the build that we're going to be using today. <clears throat> so, uh, for this one, I'm not sure yet, Nerve Gaming. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, one minute until Hype Train is done, guys. Hype Train is, uh, we got one minute left uh, to close out Hype Train. We're, 20, we're, we're at, uh, we are at 73%. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. And that's one thing I, so I also do a Christmas Lego set. So we'll do a Christmas Lego build with my, one of my best friends. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm, we're going to build the Home Alone Lego set on Christmas is the plan. 113 to 500 likes on YouTube. Guys, 44 seconds left. We don't, if we don't hit this, then we don't activate one of the giveaways. So we're, we're super close. 30 seconds. Who's going to close it out? Juggalo Jimmy, there's three. There he goes. He just he, he cleaned it out. He made sure it was good. Level five. The first one is always the toughest because it always scares me. Like, are we going to get it? Uh, and we've had three streams in a row. So I always feel it always feels rough on you guys. But I, I appreciate that you guys support because uh, so we can continue to do these streams, continue to do these giveaways and all that sort of stuff. But there we go. Juggalo or it's either Juggalo or it's Drafaz or it's Red Dragon. It's Tom a lot. Tom comes in there a lot uh, with uh, the clutch. Um, and so many others. So yeah, I appreciate all my clutch, my clutch people. And there you guys go. Have some hype, have some hype train emotes, uh, and let's get started. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about what we're going to put in today's giveaway PC build. Now, again, this giveaway PC will be given away on Gleam. First thing is we can never do the giveaways live on stream because not everybody can basically come in there, but you watching the stream uh, for subs and everything like that, that's how you get in there. We're also giving away NVMe drives and that uh, new A gift card. So those things are happening on stream, but if you're here to win the PC, uh, the PC will be happening on Gleam. The details for that will show up in the description down uh, below in YouTube uh, when that actually goes active because we have to build the PC, make sure we don't change out any parts or anything like that because we have to make sure the TNC. So that's why you never see us do uh, live stream PC giveaways. Uh, but you can watch the PC that we are giving away be built because this is the PC that we will be giving away. Okay, so let's talk about what is going into this PC. Uh, if you are hanging out uh, from yesterday, this is still a beast and a huge shout out to Seagate. 
and also to, uh, to Seagate and to Asus for sponsoring this PC giveaway. Uh, without them, we couldn't do some of these things. So for, uh, and also Intel Gaming. So for the Intel processor, we're using the Intel 12700K. I actually haven't got to use this one uh, before, so I was actually pretty excited to actually get a chance to put this inside of a build. So this is gonna be a 12700K. Now we know these run a little bit warm uh, and we still wanna be able to do overclocking. So huge shout out to EK uh, who provided us with this EK360D uh, RGB AIO. Um, so this is one of their new all-in-one liquid coolers. Uh, I love the way this looks. In this situation, this should be absolutely awesome uh, as a cooler. The one thing is, is that these things struggle a little bit when you use them in like really tight spaces, but they're gonna have plenty of spaces for the tubes and we won't have any leakage issues here. So it's a really, really good AIO and should do a great job with giving you whoever wins this uh, overclocking headroom for their CPU. For our motherboard, um, you may recognize this one because we're going to be using DDR4 in today's build. So we're going to be using the Z690 Plus Asus Tough uh, uh, motherboard with DDR4. So this is the DDR4 compatible version of Z690. Now remember, DDR5 and DDR4 are not interchangeable. You have to buy a DDR5 motherboard to use DDR5 or a DDR4 motherboard to use DDR4 for specifically for 12th gen. So we're going to be using 12th gen. Uh, we're going to be using RAM. Uh, uh, nice RAM uh, in this, but it won't be DDR5. We'll be doing 32 gigs of DDR4. Now this is still going to be expensive because this is actually more expensive than the build that we did yesterday. And that's because we're using the highest end NVMe SSDs, thanks to Seagate Gaming. And these are the Seagate Fire CUDA 530s. Now, I think we've got two slots. If we have three, Seagate says, hey, if we got three, then we'll throw in three. And so we've got uh, four, holy crap, wait a minute, no, okay, sorry, this is, this is, holy moly, I just realized what this is, this is a four terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 530, wow, I didn't even know that these existed, holy cow, this is, yeah, Tom's excited about that too, this is a four terabyte, that's like $900, what is, look at that, I uh, try to focus, there it is, focus on that, that's a four terabyte, uh, that is, <laughs> Jesus crow. Wow, there we go right there. I don't know if this is supposed to go in the build or not. Okay, we'll find out. But uh, anyway, we've got two one terabytes, but I, this might've just been for me. This might've been a, hey, Merry Christmas, Roby. So I'll find out. Um, and then we also, <laughs> I don't know if it actually goes in there, guys. I just realized I have these stack and sometimes Seagate sends me stuff and I'm like, oh gosh. Um, so here is, uh, and then obviously the other thing too is we've got a uh, four tera, uh, sorry, 32 gigs of CL CL18 uh, G Skill Triton Roll Z. Oh, it's on the it's on the build. Is it on the build list? Did I? I don't remember if it is on there. If it's on there, four ter yeah, four terabytes. And Tom would let me know that. Uh, these these are the fastest SSDs you could. Yeah, it is. Okay. So is it? Did we have three total, Tom? Okay. And we'll put all three in. Wow, I don't care. That's fine. It's all three going in. I don't care. You guys can have it. I don't need to. No, it's just two. Okay, so we'll take one terabyte away. There we go. Okay, so there's a four terabyte right there. Okay, and then uh, we've got, the, and if we have room, if we, I can actually put three, I'll put the other one in. Because I don't need more NVMe SSDs. Uh, these do 7,500. Uh, these will actually do 7,500 both read and write. Uh, so these are the fastest, most um, uh, in uh, highest uh, uh, terabytes written endurance NVMe SSDs on the market right now. These are ridiculous NVMe SSDs. Uh, for our RAM, I already told you about that because I was getting big into this. Now, the other thing too that I really appreciate is I'm gonna throw that we also have a thousand watt PSU because you know I like to just mark that in there because that kind of gives you a heads up for what's next. Now, I like originally Asus was like, Asus was like, you know what? We have some 3060s. We have some 3060s for you. Um, and then uh, that's when Seagate came in and says, hey, well, we're gonna use these Fire Cuda 530s. And then uh, and, I, and everybody's like, oh, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty cool. Um, well, if you're gonna put that in, we're not gonna be left out. So let's go ahead and put in an Asus RG Strix RTX 3080. And so I was like, dang. So there we go. So there is a RTX 3060, uh, sorry, a, a G, an RTX uh, 3080 as well, uh, going into this as well. Um, and so let's just, we're, hopefully we'll be able to put three of these in there. That'd be awesome. 
that would make me happy. And then of course we also have always, just to make sure it looks good, some um, Asia horse uh, cable. So this, and all of this is going inside of the Fantex P500A, which I have a very special place in my heart for this case. Absolutely love it. It's uh, one of my favorite cases. So this should be, it should be very, very cool. And guess what? You can win it. So this will be a PC that we will be giving away to one lucky viewer. Uh, look for the details post uh, uh, post uh, Christmas time. Uh, following at Seagate Gaming, at ASUS USA, and at Roby Tech for when that gleam goes live, and you'll be able to basically get into there. So it should be super super awesome. Um, but first, before we can give it away, we got to build it, and that's what you're here for today. So should be fun. So let's get all this stuff out of the way that we don't need right now. Nobody needs this. Just kidding. Let's not throw it. You guys, you guys just wish that I would put this in there, right? Like maybe I just, maybe I just put that in there instead. Wouldn't that be better? Would you guys be happier with a 3090? Problem is, the problem is the moment you do that, it goes over the cost. So that's, that's always the issue. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We got, we got these. Let's see if we can put three NVMe SSDs in it. And then if we can, Tom will update the build list to include that. Uh, so Tudu uh, 22, uh, we have a ton of those. Roby, did you see Linus yesterday? He built in a new PC case. It was rough. He worked hard getting it done, but he can say the company that makes the case needs to put YouTube videos on that case. So I will tell you this, Braveheart, um, doing like, so mad respect, because I've done that too. Like the first time, like I'll have, like we have new cases before they're released. There's never a YouTube video on it. Um, a lot of times I'll build in it before it goes live. So I'll go and build and figure it out before I actually build on stream. And I think that's a lot of people like don't understand. Like I like, and sometimes I don't because I think people just enjoy watching and learning. Um, and so uh, it, that I, give, I give credit to Linus. Linus and I'm actually gonna go hang out with him next week. Him and uh, Luke, we're heading up there to go hang out with them for the holidays. Um, and so uh, he has mad respect for what I do and I have mad respect for what he does. Honestly, live streaming builds is not easy. Um, especially when you do things like what we do where there's sometimes it's new hardware and you're always learning. Yeah, I'm coming to Canada. I'll be up there next weekend, next week. Yeah, we're gonna go hang out with Linus and Luke and those guys. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to put in a new, let's start building. Who's ready? We got, we got good music playing. It's time to start. Should be fun. Oh, this is actually sealed. That's a good sign, right? <clears throat> Wait, you're coming to Canada? Might as well. Yeah, we're going to Canada with, I can't take your uh, AO Snipes. I wish I could, but you cannot take your PC across the border. There is a ton of customs that go with that. Wait, are you in Canada? Is it going to Canada? <clears throat> oh, there's four M.2s. Well, then we'll go. Well, there we go. We got four. We'll put three in. Okay, here we go. Getting our our uh, Z690 out here. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you're you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with customs, buddy. But yeah, I can't just go like that. You know what I mean? Oh, that's that's fine. I mean, again, it's just for shipping. Wait, I lost that thing again. This keeps coming off. Stop coming off. My little, my little mic hat. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys, building it up. I think I still need some screws. Okay, it's officially started. The motherboard box is in and ready for extra parts. You always know that's the official start time of the build is when we get to that, that point right there. Okay, let's get our thing out for putting M.2s in. I'm gonna switch this around again. M.2 screwdriver is ready. <clears throat> People getting build hype. Oop, that's not, that's not gonna do me any good. I need this one. Okay. 
This is build number 164 of the year. So this is 164th build of the year. And I love that my last two before Christmas are both giveaway builds. Oh yeah, a little peel there, a little peel there. I think that's, and there's a peel here too. Integrated IO shield, which I love that they added that to the Tough series finally. I don't remember if the Tuck's X5, Tough X570 had integrated. <clears throat> Thanks, Juggalo. Appreciate it. Okay, let's start with opening our Core i7 12700K. 12700K of power right here, right here, right now. There we go. Yeah, I think like we went, so we've done almost, I think it was funny because Jay was talking about giveaways that he's done on his, his uh, that he's done on his show. And he's like, hey, I've given away like $25,000 in stuff. And we were doing the math and we've done, I think this year alone, we've given away $75,000 in hardware. Uh, between, we did, that's basically, it's like fi almost 50 grand in PCs, uh, almost 50 grand in PCs. It's like, it's like 12 or 20 grand in GPUs. Uh, it's like, it's like, it's like seven or eight grand in CPUs, NVMe drives. And there was like another ridiculous amount in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, gift cards. So yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, that's nice. We give away a lot of stuff. If people want to know, we give away a lot of stuff <laughs> here on the show. There we go. Okay, there we go. I try to be Santa. I want to do giveaways. I want to make things a little bit better and, you know, make try and bring joy. That's what we try to do. <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like, I love, no, don't get me wrong. I love, all of us do. I mean, like Linus also gives a ton away. All of us give a bunch away, right? Jay's awesome. Well, it's just, it's, it's more, it's just stuff that we've done. You know what I mean? Uh, not yet, or chaos. We're working on it. But I mean, like all the ones that we've done, we've either, you know, we've always done every build that we build for uh, every build that we build um, for people like AO Snipes or uh, Tony the Baller, all those guys, all of those builds are that we charge MSRP for price. We don't mark up. The only markup is just the commission. Um, so it's like, we're, you know, again, we're trying our part in terms of, you know, Linus had, Linus had that, you know, the basically cards for gamers. Ours is kind of the same thing. We, all of our PCs are just for gamers charged at retail price. So we're going to put it on. We haven't done it yet, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just putting the top down. Got to pop this top off. Here it goes. Well, it's not coming off like it's supposed to. Whoa, that was a good one. That was a good pop. There we go. There we go. Tough gaming. It was tough to get off. That's what it was. Okay, let's put some... Let's put some thermal paste on it. We're gonna use our own. Because the IHS is so big, I would always recommend on a 12th gen using your own thermal paste or doing your own spread. Because these things are, the IHS is not gonna be covered by the stock stuff that comes with your AIO. Get a nice even thin layer here. There we go. Nice even layer.
just want to get the little extra off just because. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> There's that Bob Ross. Like, I love, I love seeing that every time. Okay, let's get our RAM in. Check those clicks. Remember that RAM yesterday was that RAM yesterday was pretty magical. So DDR5 yesterday, which was always fun. Let's hit pause on the music here. Okay, here we go. Let's get our RAM out. Last build clicks before Christmas. Let's hope they're good. Asus has a tendency to be very good. Uh, you, honestly, uh, you have to think about it. Paste can last a long time. It doesn't dry up. We're 15 away from locking out the first $50 New Egg gift card. Let's see if we can hit that last 50. I'd like to end the one before Christmas like on a high note. I'd love to try and see if we can get enough to give away at least a CPU, guys. If we get to CPU level, um, I think maybe I'll give away like a mouse and keyboard set from EVGA as well. If we get to a CPU, then we'll give away a mouse and keyboard set from EVGA as well, just to help sweeten the pot. Let's see what we can do if we can make that happen and just have like a really good giveaway um, to kind of end the Christmas season. I mean, I'm giving away two PCs already, you know, and, two, and a GPU. Let's see if you guys can bring the hype as well. Okay, so there is that. Okay, here we go. First click. I feel like this is gonna go good, guys. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, that was terrible. 98.7, but it did not sound good at all. Ah, that surprises me. Hopefully this one's better. No, those are mushy. These are mushy. Yeah, it's DDR4. Oh, that was good. That was good. 100.6. 100.6 on that one. That was 100.6. Whoo, that was better. Okay, at least we got one good one. Okay, here we go. Oh, and that was weak. Oh, I'm going to do that one again. That just didn't install very well. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one more time. Nope, that's just not good. Okay, well, we got one, 100.6. So it was, it was like a mixed bag, but we got like one like miracle one just to make sure we had like a Christmas miracle one. Yeah, it was a click. Yeah, it was a, the second one. Yeah. Second one isn't all the way in. Nope, you're right. There we go. They're all in now. Thank you for noticing that. Here, if you guys want to see... I think it is in. Yeah, here it is. So we do actually have... I don't know if you guys have seen the kit... But given we got G-Skill, I figured this would be a good time to show you. We actually do have G-Skill DDR5 RAM, um, if you want to see it. So this is 6,000, by the way. Uh, this is DDR6000 at CL40, right, because the timings are all different. But, yeah, we actually do have DDR5 uh, G-Skill RAM, too. So that's, that's actually what the box looks like for that. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's start the play again and go from there. Okay, now, so everything here, oh, let's check our bracket. Oh, no, we have to put our M.2s in. <laughs> That's gross, Juggalo. <laughs> okay, let's get, we can, apparently we can do four M.2s.
case there's one. And then we got two down here, I'm assuming, yep. So I'm gonna put all of these under a shield, but I'm gonna stick the four terabyte at the top as that'll be the game drive. Main reason being is that you're, we're still gonna mess with lanes a little bit here, so we wanna make sure this one gets maximum uh, throughput for its lanes. Look, stickers, guys, you get stickers. You get Farcuda stickers. Put that in the box for whomever wins. There we go. Dude, four terabyte. That's crazy. This thing is so thick. Like triple C thick. I've never seen one of these before. I have the two terabyte, like one for the Xbox, but I've never, four terabytes. That's bonkers. $900 just for that. I'm gonna have to write Sean and be like, hey, can I have one of those? I just need one. Yeah, single four terabyte, 7,500 megabit per second, freaking NVMe drive. Okay, here's a one terabyte. There we go. By the way, guys, sorry about the vacuuming. They gotta clean the house, so it's okay. There we go, next. By the way, Tom, did you order your new WoW stick? Yeah, this is still a... Are people saying, uh, I heard somebody say that my microphone is low, is that true? No, not Tom, not today. Okay, there we go. There is three 7,000 plus megabit per second NVMe SSDs, I might add. How awesome is that? There we go. I'm gonna put it up a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, here we go. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna find that, look at this, like, this is the four terabyte versus the one terabyte. I don't know if you can see that, but this is quite a bit thicker and it's got NAND on both sides, which is crazy. Okay, we're gonna use that little flash holder. There we go, there's that one. And then we're gonna put our two one terabytes down below. There we go, one. There we go, okay. All one terabyte, there we go. Obviously a Seagate build when you're using crazy Seagate NVMEs. Oops, let's make sure we peel. There we go. There we go, right there. So there's two terabytes right there. And now to cover our four terabyte. There we go.
Okay. There is all of the stuff. Everything's there. All the motherboard is now put together. We're just going to check to see what our mounting mechanism is for our AIO. AI, AIO. Get those on if we need to. It is right here for sure. There we go. Okay. Okay, here is our 360 I.O. Super shout out to E.K. for hooking us up with this. Now, luckily, with Asus, you get holes for both 1,200 and 1,700. Okay, so here's our brackets and everything. And then everything else we'll take out later. This one looks good. This is their D. So here's all their mounting stuff. Intel brackets, screws for brackets, screw stuff, 1200, 11.5x, 1200 and AMD screws. I guess that's gonna have to be, and then AMD, and then what does this say? This is AMD 2011. Okay, so this is, okay, and then we got thermal paste. So we'll need this. This doesn't have 1700 stuff in it, but it's okay, this will work with 1200, which is great. AMD brackets. Okay, here we go. It's going to be harder because... Okay, there we go. Okay. Make those tight. There we go. Okay, cool. That is now ready. This is stuff we'll use later. Okay, so our AIO is our, sorry, our motherboard is ready now. We don't have anything else to put into it.
and we're good there. What's up, Churanoma? Okay, here we go. Now, this is the uh, this is the risque part of the stream. If you're new to the stream, we're gonna be stripping this case. So if you have kids in the room, you don't wanna talk to them about the birds and the bees when it comes to cases, now's the time to get them out. If you're old and you've, you're a veteran, you know what this is. Hopefully you've already got the kids out of the room. Um, but key, you know, case stripping, it can be, it can be, it can be a little, uh, it can be a little touchy for the first timers. You know what I mean? So I just want to make sure you guys get up there and get it off. So take it all off guys. Here we go. It's going to get a little nude, but here we go. Little case nudity. <laughs> okay. So first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and strip this back thing here. Take our rear of our case off. There we go. So the back is off. We got this really big. I don't need, I just literally threw that over the garbage can. There we go. Uh, Okay, next up is front of our case. This case is very simple. There's not much to take apart in it because of just how simple it is. The only other thing that we have is the front. And that is it, the case is prepped. But it's a naked case. Hopefully your kids aren't asking weird questions right now like, mommy. Why is the man taking all the stuff off the case? Like, hopefully that's not happening. <clears throat> Sticks a dollar bill in the fan slot. <laughs> Mommy, what do you put in that slot right there? Well, that's for the motherboard, honey. What's a motherboard? <laughs> Where's the daddy board? Oh, uh, man. You know? Okay. <laughs> I want a daddy board. Every, every kid should have a daddy board. Oh, let's uh, make sure you guys can actually see me put the court and the board in. Oh man. Okay, top down. Here we go. Uh, I love this case. It's just, you guys want to talk about an easy, just no, no, like no nonsense case to work in. That is this case. It just, everything just works in it, which is awesome. Uh, and so uh, that's always one of the things that uh, I, I just, I just like, I really just like how easy this case is to work in. One, two, three, okay, yeah, it does, okay. So, yeah, that's, that's the out port. <laughs> I just like this court, yeah, I like this thing. <laughs> Yeah, they make great cases. I'm excited. I mean, we're getting ready to go into 2022, right? And, you know, that means we're going to, and especially with CES, we're going to see a bunch of new cases, which is going to be fun. Um, I love, this is one other thing. I love Fantex that they just give us this awesome, um, like, whole uh, thing there. It, it's just, it's, it's just really cool. I like every, Fantex just does good work. And I love, they just, they care about their, their, uh, their audience. And I think they, honestly, I feel like they build in their cases sometimes. Okay, let's get our motherboard done. Get it installed here. <laughs> Cole, yes. And Cole, I, I, yeah, Cole, I would know because uh, I know a thing or two about your build, Cole. By the way, I want to let folks know, and we got to get a link into this, I'm trying to get rid of this, this PC. We do have a PC that is for sale. Uh, if people, if somebody's interested, it's a PC that's not in stock. It's built in the NZXT H1. It is the, uh, we'll get some links for it. We're selling it at retail, uh, in fact, slightly below. So we're gonna sell it for $100 off retail if you're interested, plus shipping and tax, of course. Um, and then we'll get a link to that. So it's like, um, it's a 3060 Ti. Tom will get you the link to that here in a minute. Um, if you guys are interested, somebody wants to pick it up, we're trying to get it sold before Christmas. It's ready to ship out. Um, the guts of it is the 3060 Ti. 
Um, if, can we get the link for it? I, uh, Tom will get it up there so you guys can look at the guts for the PC. But it's a it's an it's an it's an H1, so it's a really good PC. This case is awesome. Yeah, you will not be you will be happy with this case. Um, it's it's also got an RGB strip right here at the bottom too. So yeah. Tom's looking for it. We'll get you the link to the build. It is just an easy case to build in. Guys, 10 away from 50, 10 away. RDZ, thank you very much. Mom, why is he screwing the motherboard? No, he's putting screws in the motherboard. That's different. <laughs> no, phrasing is very important. <laughs> do you get per sub you get one per sub but tier two and tier three subs you get uh, 10 and 15 uh, 10 and uh, five and ten I no I, I would that was a kid saying that not me oh the crits were screaming uh, Tom can you get the link to that PC that we have for sale the the h1 mini plus I think is what it is I said it's family friendly, guys. I'm just, I don't want, like, I wasn't saying, I'm putting screws in the motherboard. That is not, man. Yeah, if you were gifted a sub, that does count. But then if you were to do a prime, uh, prime sub, then you would have two entries. Yeah. Jeez, guys. Luckily, I have people who keep me family friendly. I do not want to cross that line. This is supposed to be a safe place for you guys to come and hang out and watch. And I know we have kids who watch the uh, watch the stream, so yes. And it wasn't a, it was a clean dad joke. It wasn't dirty. I, there's no there's no there's nothing you could do bad to the side of the thing. I'm letting you go, Rogue. <laughs> no, you do not need a sub to enter the win. That's only for the sub only giveaway. Hey, fish dad official. There we are. We're eight away, guys. Let's get that last fifty. We're gonna get it. I want to give away a keyboard, a mouse, and uh, and a CPU today. I don't know, Gamer Nexus. I don't actually, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, and then, uh, feels bad. Thank you very much. And then we also got one bell dropping it. Look at you guys. There it is. We're getting a little, 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 a little train going. Getting a little train going. That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's flip this over and hook up our front panel connectors. What do you guys say? Oh, he has a six month resub coming up. All right, Evo. Look at the look at you, buddy. Okay, wow, there's a lot of cables down here. All these cables gotta go into the motherboard. We just gotta get it. We gotta get the sub counter. I'm trying to make it the last one before Christmas, just a little bit extra special, so we can get a bunch of just a bunch of subs. Five away, guys. Five away from fifty. Trying to get us to 250 today so we can give away like some bonus stuff. Okay, there is HD audio. Um, this, oh, these are the fans. I forgot we have three fans here. Yeah, if you want that PC, we're selling it for 100 less than retail plus shipping and tax, obviously. So if you guys want to see the PC that we have for sale, I think Tom just linked it. Am I correct, Tom? I, I might have missed the link. <clears throat> okay, we're going to put this right up here. Oh, link the Discord post. Oh, okay. Can you just link the PC directly? Yeah, can you just link the PC directly? It's the stream, it's the streaming, yeah. Uh, no, the uh, starter one is gone. The starter pro, uh, somebody already bought. Okay, so we have some we have some some fans to hook up here. Okay. 
the USB-C here. USB-C is gonna go right up here. He, Tom, guys, let Tom do his work. His kids were screaming. He had to get it fixed. He had to take care of that little problem. Silence the little rug rats. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put our, this is our H, this is our front panel connection. I think there's only one, which is kind of funny. Okay, there's all our fans. I think they're all there. And then this is for plugging in, this is for plugging in our one rear fan we're gonna do. Okay, so let's go flip this over. Oop, 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 we got another RGB header and that's gonna go right here. Okay, let's flip this over and hook everything up. Oh, Igor, 50, we did it, we did it, yay! Okay, on to 100, guys. Remember, we're 250 is the goal today. Let's see if we can do it. Oops, I don't wanna go here, I wanna go to s a widgets. Sub goal. Okay, we're on our way to a $100 new gift card. I think we got, I think I've got a couple more, hold on. Okay, we're at 52, hold on one sec. There we go. Okay, so we're back, now we're tied and where we're supposed to should be. Okay, there we go. Okay, everything looks good, let's flip this over. Uh, they're both great at this point in time for pro for gaming and streaming. Just go with the one that you like. If you have a particular brand you like. Okay, so now we got we have. Ooh, this is a problem. Okay, I'm gonna move this one down here because we don't have a ton of. Okay, now we got all everything in the right place. Okay, so let's take this one. Okay, let me get out of your way so you can see here. So we're gonna take our power switch, which is the only front panel connector on the P500, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about one plug. We're gonna hook up one fan right there, another fan right here, and that takes care of the three, two of the three. We're gonna take this fan right here. Oh, no, we're gonna take RGB first. We have two RGB headers down at the bottom, which is actually pretty cool. Trying to get this one in. Okay, there's that. Okay, RGB's in. Next up, another fan header. And I'll walk you through what I hooked up. I'll, I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I hooked up. And then our HD audio. Okay, so let's zoom in and show, show you. Oh, and then I have, sorry, a little bit more to hook up here. USB-C. All right, so let's walk through real quick what I hooked up so you guys can see it. Okay, so this is USB-C from the case. So there's a USB-C connector right here. Next is our USB-3, so we plug that in. Down here in the front, down here in the bottom right is our front panel connector. We did power switch. This is one of the, this is one of the fans, the three fans here. I just went with what was the shortest cable and then went to longest at the end. Another fan header right here. Then I added the RGB header that this is for basically all of the case fan stuff and the uh, lighting strip. And then this is our third fan, 
from the front, and then we've got HD audio down here, which is our last front panel connection. So all of our front panels are plugged in. And then, like I said, these slide outs, we're gonna make this like a single connection. And then we'll obviously we have the, the um, PSU cable that's gonna go right here, the 24 pin. Okay, so all of our front panels are plugged in. I'm not gonna be able to do any, usually I'll turn over and do a little bit of cable management, but given that I have to actually add the fans, we're gonna add our exhaust fan, and then we'll do a little cable management because all the fans will be hooked up, and then we'll put together our AIO. So let's grab our RGB fan. <clears throat> There we go, there we go. Okay, and then we got sticker time. <laughs> I love my stickers. Just kidding, they're really, I mean, they're, they're nice, but. Stickers, stickers. Okay, here we go. Come on. There we go. So these are the, this is the fan we have. Put these back in here. Okay, so we got one PK60S, or sorry, SK120 uh, fan that we're gonna put in here. Need to just check something on our, everything looks okay, right? Okay, let's get this done. You guys ready? I'm just making sure there was some, there's like some weird issue with the stream, but it looks like it's okay, okay. Everybody seems happy, 52. Did we get a direct link? By the way, if you're interested, yes, DM me on Discord, um, or you can try and, I think Discord's gonna be your best wait, so yeah. My daughter's writing me, Dad, I need something, Dad. Uh, Jay Blue Eyes, they were okay. It was, we had one miracle one, but that was about it. So yeah. So the rest of them were just okay. Yeah, it's the H, oh, hold on, let me, let me see which one it is. It's the, I will tell you, it's the 1499 one. He wants to make sure you do it right. Okay, hold on, let me make sure. Gaming PCs, H1 Mini. It's the H1 Mini Plus is the one that it is. It's the H1 Mini Plus. It's got a, the people wanna know what's inside. It's got a uh, 10700K and a 30, well, wait a minute, maybe it's, oh, hold on. Let me make sure, it's, let me, let me make sure what's in this one, hold on. One second, because I want to make sure that we're right. That's a good question. Uh, it was... Why can I not find it? 
Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah, it was the H1 Mini Plus. And here's the parts that were in this. That So the parts that are in this, ooh, that didn't work. Oh, that would be helping why, hold on. So the parts that were inside the build that I had, that is for sale, is not this, okay? Dang it. Yeah, it's the H1 Mini Plus. Man, this is not this is not going the way that I expected it to. Hold on. Yeah, so it's got a 1060, uh, 3060 in it. Yeah, so it's the H1 Mini Plus. I thought it was a 3060 Ti, but it's a 3060. Oh, and it's black. So it's black, not white. I thought it was white, but it's actually black. So that's what's in it. So it had a 10700K, uh, sorry, 11700K, a Oris Z690i motherboard. Uh, it has a, uh, yeah, that one right there. Uh, it's got, so there's all the details. Yes, it's the H1 Mini Plus. Thank you, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, we're selling it for $13.99, Red Zombie. Sorry about that, guys. I took a little bit longer than I wanted to. Okay, let's get the stickers on and get back to building. You're like, shut up, Roby. But I just want to get rid of the PC. So $13.99 plus, uh, uh, we're doing $13.99, AK. I'll ship it to Canada, that's fine. You just know that you have to pay for customs, et cetera. $13.99 plus tax and shipping. That's USD, yes. Because we used it for some testing, but it's like basically just sitting there and we don't need it anymore. So if you're interested, uh, DM me on Discord. I'll go in order of people who did it and then just know PayPal or uh, PayPal or uh, Venmo, and then understand tax, uh, tax and shipping. So, okay, let's get this built though. That's where we're at right now. It's already packed up and ready to go. Yeah, dang adulting, right? Stupid adulting. Look at that, Cole, calling you guys out. You know, it takes a lot for 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 uh, for um, Cole to call out uh, to call out good things. Like it, it takes a lot to impress her. Just FYI, right, Cole? Eternal's one of the sweetest people in the world. Okay, let's get this in. <clears throat> yeah, it's a great price, yeah, exactly. Okay, we're just putting this in. I like this version of this song, it's cool. Well, what's wrong with the 3080 Ti? 
Why do you need a FE? Just because you want something smaller? See you later, rag picky. Okay, we're just putting in the fan, the rear fan right now. Rear fan in the rear with the gear. Okay, just pulling this cable out. One more cable. Now we can just do a little bit of cable management. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, first we're gonna grab my favorite toy, zip ties, zip ties, yeah! Everybody loves zip ties. Who doesn't love zip ties? Okay, so we're gonna actually use this corner here to hold this fan thing at a 90 so it doesn't show. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way yet. You guys like my zip tie rock song? Ugh. Okay, there we go. That's good. <clears throat> that makes sense, Gabriel Nexus. <clears throat> oh, it's tweezers. You're right, Clueless Klotz. Oh, oh, Verge, you will forever live in infamy. Okay, let's get this. Now I gotta undo all this. We gotta figure out the right one to connect all this thing to. I think it's this one. Those I want to I want to tie I want the the thinner ones. No, that's not gamers Nexus. No, that's just gamer Nexus. He, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not gamers Nexus. He, they're busy. It's always the point. Yeah, I got to clean up the cables, make them look good. It'd be fun. I've, I haven't, I, that's one, one tech influencer I have not met yet. I haven't met the hardware and box guys, nor have I met Steve from Gamers Nexus. I met Jay. I met Greg, I've talked to Greg, like Greg and I text. Obviously, no, no, Nene and, jo and Josh. Um, but uh, I have never, I've never talked or interacted with Steve and his crew. At some point in time, it'll happen. I'm, I'm trying to make, like, the one thing that my goal, one of my goals is to make the tech tube and tech streaming community feel more like a community. So, yeah. <clears throat> well, I want to make it, yeah, I want to make this look good. That's the whole point. And this is a giveaway PC. Somebody's got to be, it's got to feel like a Roby tech PC, you know? Lock it down. Bring this one down. No, oh, I completely missed that whole thing. My cutters. You missed my whole thing. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do one higher here, just so I can capture this and keep this clean.
I want this way up here. There you go, that locks that in. Now I don't, I shouldn't have to worry a lot about this. I mean, this little clump should be done for the rest of the, the build. So we're just gonna get the spine kind of cleaned up here. I wonder, I need to figure out, I think it's funny, I know how many PC builds I've used, but I'd always be curious how many zip ties I actually used in a year, like across all my builds, even like a rough idea. I mean, I did 160 builds, so maybe we should just take an average, right? Like if I do an average of 20 zip ties per build, I probably use more than that, don't you think? Yeah, we need a zip tie counter on the screen. Then it'd be fun to like, you have to like, maybe there's a giveaway for like whoever gets the closest to my, how many zip ties I used, but without going over, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Okay, that's, I think we're, that's where we're gonna end because we gotta do the whole bottom part later. We still have some stuff I gotta run in, but we can get this started at least and keep that that bit started there. Oh, I should have hooked up our... $1. Okay, we go like that. He's like, Tom's thinking like the... It would be like, uh, it would be like Squid Games. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this over. This is just to get things kind of cleaned up and out of the way. Somebody keeps calling me from a number. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm just gonna make sure this isn't anything critical. <laughs> this is Justin. Hey, what's up, man? Sorry. Oh, I'm live streaming. What's going on? Okay. Oh. Okay, that's fine, totally. Yeah, that's totally okay. Thanks, dude, appreciate it, bye. Okay, I'm glad I took that call. It was my contractor. They're, so my wife is getting a gym in the house for her and so they were putting a tonal on and so yeah, everything's fine. He just has to, uh, he, like they, they have to, I guess the studs weren't in the right place for the tonal to get installed, so. Yeah, only Roby here. So that's what he was calling for is because he's like, hey, I want to make sure before we did the work. <laughs> Wait, your name isn't Roby? No, it's Justin. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So we got all this stuff. This will get cleaned up here in a minute once we, once we, uh, well, I can actually start. I'm, I, might, I might just go ahead and finish this. I think it'll actually be okay. This can stay. I think we'll be okay. I don't remember, I don't think I'll actually need anything on this side. Okay, let's get this more, and then if I need to cut it open, that's fine.
and use this to hold this down just temporarily. There we go. Okay, now what we do with these is essentially we try to get these as close to rounded as possible. These, this is going to get plugged over. go. Got one cable is just a little too tight there. The last bit of this is just getting this last little clump controlled and then everything kind of cleaned up there. Oh shoot. by that little thing. Okay, cool. trying to get this last little bit cleaned up so we don't have to worry about, oh I don't want to do that I just don't want you to be able to see any cables from the front there we go it takes care of that okay let's cut these Finish out the cleanliness part of the whole thing. Okay, and then this will actually get held by this. Okay, there we go. So there you go, nice, clean so far. Makes it's gonna make the whole end of this wait really, really quick. So, and then again, you have no cables that you'll be able to see from the front, which is good. So, <clears throat> okay. So let's now get our AIO put together, which is all gonna be up here, which is okay. I gotta plug in one thing up top. Forgot about that, my. I need. Hey, whoa. We are actually, I'm actually going to, I will need a, I need, I will need a splitter. Okay, so we'll hook the exhaust fan. No, we want the exhaust fan on its own fan. We're like one 
fan header shy up top. I'm just looking at what we have. We have one down here, which is kind of in a terrible place, which, I mean, actually I could hook the pump down there. Yeah, that's, ooh, wait. Okay, so it's actually, that, actually that'll work, Never mind. I'm gonna hook the pump below this time and I'll use the, cause I think this uses a splitter for the other one, so. There we go. I was just thinking through connectivity. Thank you for the super chat, man. A dollar, that's huge. Appreciate, I mean, a euro. Thank you very much for that. Guys, remember, we got to get to 250 if we want to do that extra giveaway. Two hundred fifty subs, so don't let the subs stop. And remember, that gets you in for the 3080 Ti and extra entries for the PC giveaway, too. There we go. Oh yeah, everything is in. Uh. There we go, everything is good. Let's go ahead and do our AIO now. Build's looking nice and clean, straightforward. Everything's hidden the way it should be. Hey, thank you very much, JLDG. Thank you for the Prime. Also, Mad Cap Wolf, thank you also for five months, man. Whoa, they actually give you enough fans for push pull. Is this a. Whoa. Wow, this is actually like push pull ready. And they've got it, they give you a fan hub. Crazy. Yeah, it's got six fans. I don't know if I can do push pull on the case. Okay, there we go. It's like their new pump too. I was not expecting that, but EK loves me right now. And I'm okay with that, because I like them too. Wow, this is quite the pump header, wow. Wow, look at that, that is huge. That's a thick boy. I wonder if I have enough room to do push-pull. I like that fan editor, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's get... Okay, so if that's going like that, then I want the fans with the cables in the back. Okay. It might, it might. I don't know, this case has got a lot of room at the top.
Okay. Nice long cables, which I appreciate. I want this like this. Okay. There we go. I want these like this. Let's get these in and then we can see afterwards if I have enough top mount room to do push pull. Because why not? Uh, the AIO does have a refill port. Oh, this also has multiple. This like the thing is, it's got long and short screws. Okay, well, I know what these are for. These are for this side. Okay, the only thing I gotta figure out is if I have the room to do it. And if I do, let's do it. If I don't, then I don't. They give you the screws for both. If this is a 5000D, we'd be good. Okay, now all our screws are in. Let's grab our wow stick. I know it's gonna break Tom's heart, but I hopefully ordered his new one. Okay. Okay, so those are all in. Let's just get them into a single kind of clip here. And then we're gonna look and see what we got from a headroom standpoint for potentially push pulling this whole thing. I don't remember, I don't know how much headroom you have on a P500 at the top. Okay, there's that. These cables are nice and easy to manage, which is good, because they're not twisted up, which is actually really nice. A little short one there for extra length. Okay, let's see what we got here. Move this out of the way. Make the determination just as a little exploration here on the show. Why not? Let's have some fun, right folks? Do something a little bit new. Try something a little bit fresh. That's what we want to do. We want to try things new on the show. <clears throat> Wait.
wait, we missed another super chat. Was there another one? How much was that one for? Always want more. Ugh. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to side here. We're gonna mount a fan. Oh, thank you very much for the Euro, appreciate it. We're gonna mount a fan just to see how much room we have for potentially uh, a, uh, potentially doing a push pull. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen. And if it works, if it doesn't, then all big, no big deal. No harm, no foul. There's a quite a bit of top hat here at the top of this case. So it actually might be fine. that fan is almost completely covered. Fan is almost completely covered. So let's see where we land. From a, this is in push pull. No, it's gonna, it's hitting something. Can I push it? I can't push it more forward. No, it's hitting something. Not quite getting over there. Well, yeah, that would have been pretty rad. That's like almost close enough. It's just a little too far over, and it's hitting. Oh, it's hitting the top of the. It's hitting the top of the VRM. Okay, so you don't have enough room to push pull, but that's okay. We tried it. So we'll just do normal. It's pretty cool that they make a AIO. The best thing for that would be like a 5000D. Yeah, I agree, Racer. It, it is, but if I had the ability, I mean, I might as well do it if I have the ability, but I do, I don't, so it's all good. For a, for a 12, seven, I mean, you can do some definitely some overclocking at that point in time, but it doesn't add a ton of to the thermals, like a ton of improvement to the thermals, but we tried it. Okay. So let us take the next part. which is just the screws here. Like I said, this is still a no fuss case. It just, just everything works. Like it just fits so beautifully.
Okay. I have a lot of, oh, that's, I was like, wait a minute. A lot of cables here. What I'm doing right now is just pulling all the cables through, which I should have done before, but I didn't. Okay, there's all our cables. So on this, I have a, a pump, full PWM pump, and then an RGB, an RGB header and a pump header. Okay. There's only gonna be, I'm gonna actually use the pump header down here. Which is fine, so I'll clean that up. This is gonna go up. This is gonna get zipped up and down in there, and then this is gonna go up here. So we're gonna put this right here. Like that. Oh, let's actually go ahead and hook up the pump header and all that stuff right now. Instead of adding stuff. Let's get the pump header in and get it get it mounted and then we'll put all the brackets on and all the fun stuff. Okay, now I gotta put our brackets on this bad boy, but before we do that, let's go ahead and clear off the thermal paste that's on here. Let's get our thermal paste cleanser. Top down, here we go. There we go. Because we already have thermal paste on the CPU right now, which is why I'm removing it. And I know it's good. I don't know what they, I don't know what EK gives you, but it's probably pretty good actually, <laughs> if it's EK. But I don't know, so I just want to be doubly sure. Okay. Let us get our mounting brackets on. And our mounting screws. There we go. Okay, flip this over. I'm guessing it goes like that. Yeah, that looks right. I never liked the ones, but I'm getting really good at this, like one using one hand to put a screw on the screwdriver. I never liked the ones that you have to make your own, like mount your own thing onto, but 
I understand sometimes it's to get around the um, patents. Yeah, that's going to be early next year. That's a good call checkup. See, rumor is it'll be about 3070 in terms of its in terms of its power. But I don't think for pre-built it's not going to be as big of a deal because pre-built prices have actually been pretty good. Like they they've actually like we found like ask Tom. Tom's found a ton of deals on pre-builts at really great prices. It's quite the pump. Wow, ooh, that is not gonna work. I'm gonna see something here. What is, how do they want this to get mounted? feels like this the pressure on the side of this thing is going to be yeah ek on the right side but you can't and this is not going to go that way it's putting a lot of pressure on the and that's not going to fit on there if i wanted it to Yeah, it's gonna have to go like that, but that looks like crap. And there's no way to rotate this, I'm assuming. Let me see if there's a way to rotate that, but. So it's saying you can do it side, but I'm trying to see if there's a way to rotate the signal. I mean, rotate the cover. Cause that is really big and I don't want to lose a stick of RAM. I don't, I don't even see how this fits. Yeah, that's all it, like there's no rotation. I'm not gonna hammer it in. Yeah, it's like just not fitting. Like to have it go this way. It's just not gonna fit, because it's just not, so I'm gonna have to rotate it. As much as I don't want to, that's just the only way it's going to fit. I just wish you could move that around, then it'd be fine. The left, like I, the low, but again, then the EK would be still, it would be just upside down. And hoses to the left, I'm putting a lot of tension on the hoses at that point. Man, these, this block is so big. 
a huge block. I mean, you need a really big space to use that with the right hand side, like the way they want it to. So I don't know what you do, and unless you could like lose the, you'd have to like be not using 32 gigs of RAM. This isn't the only one that has that problem though. Like the, uh, the Z73 from, uh, from uh, NZXT is the same problem. Yeah, I mean, this, this cooler is huge. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit that much too big, huh? Okay. There we go. <clears throat> What's up, Electronic Grandpa? Okay, we're just gonna get this last little zip tie back here.
Okay, looks like you can't do that. Which the only thing that would make me happy is like if EK like gave you like even just a, a metal sticker to um, a metal sticker to like put over this so it could be like the right way. Like that would that would make the whole thing better in my opinion, you know what I mean? But the fact that there's not even a metal sticker. You know what I mean? There's nothing to like really. Okay, there we go. Now everything's like sealed. Okay, let's figure out hooking up the fans and stuff now. And go from there. Now, I have this giant fan thing, but I don't need it because I don't have six fans. I think that's just going to be overkill if I do that. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I think I might have a, th if I have a three fan splitter, have that run off of the CPU fan, would be the better option here. Let's see what I got here. That is three fans, perfect. And then we'll just daisy chain the RGB. Okay, so here's three fans. So we're gonna run that off of the CPU fan header up here for our fans, because we wanna use that curve for our AIO. Pulling our fan curve stuff through. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, before I do the last minute of that, let's get this hooked up. Okay, so here's our fans. Clump together next to. I don't want to. I don't want to be too crazy up here, but I want them next to this connection. And the main reason being is that they're just they're The more I have them all clumped together, the better. So if like there's a problem, like they're you can find them. They're like easy to just kind of unconnect, disconnect from the other cable group, and then you're you're good. Some people like say I don't like to I don't like to uh, cable manage because it makes it harder to troubleshoot. And in some guards, it's good. That's true. But if you've done your PC right, like I, you know, we get finished setting it up and then we basically, I mean, normally, because this is a show and we have, you know, we have a time limit. What, like if this is just a build I'm doing off, you know what I mean? I would, I would do the cable, ma I would finish the build, test it, and then I would cable management, right? Because it just makes it, makes more sense that way. But given that we're doing this on the show, I just assume everything's gonna work and that's okay. And most of the time, 
89.9% of the time, that is what happens. But then we put it into testing and then sometimes we find out it isn't. And so then we have to take our cable management apart. But then if people who get the builds later, they're still cable managed to the nines, you know what I mean? Every time, just to make sure, you know, that that's just an expectation. It's actually way more. It's like 98%. I like now I think about it out of 160 machines that we've done, I think there's three. So if somebody can go figure that out, three, three that we've had to take it apart or fix, do a fix for three. So whatever that percentage is. Yeah. Just making up statistics. There we go. I hooked up an RGB thing. That was, that was like for this. Okay, so do I have an RGB header? Okay, so now we have one more RGB. Oh, you know what I can do? I just realized. Oh, I regret everything about my life right now. Not really. Let's unplug this, which is already unplugged, which is great. I just realized I can RGB this into this group here. Okay. This is gonna be funky. Okay, after this, the AIO is essentially hooked up. Come on, there you go. Okay, so now, cut, cut, cut. And this is gonna go run up here. Okay, let's flip it over. AIO's all plugged in.
Okay. Oh yeah, it's a good call, PC guy. I forgot to put all those in. Thank you. Okay, let's put our last screws in our thing. Peel this off somehow. Ooh, that's pretty though. I love the way it looks. Okay, let's put the rest of our screws in. <laughs> Thanks to PC guy. <laughs> that would have been bad. <clears throat> I don't know why I only did two. That's weird. Yeah, you all, you're obviously gonna have, you, you don't wanna use, you, if you're getting, if you don't have extra parts at the end, you have, I don't know what you've hooked everything up. And here, you're always gonna have extra parts at the end of a, uh, of a build. That'd be pretty uh, weird if you didn't. FDRX7, uh, Dream Car, right now it's a mix between the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. Um, they also have, uh, it's a new, and then they have that new Lotus, uh, the new electric Lotus, which is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Let me look. Uh, and then Koenigsegg actually has a family car, uh, which I think would be rad. Seg four seats. And I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's the Koenigsegg Gamera. I like the Koenigsegg Gamera, the Koenigsegg one to one. The Koenigsegg Gamera has four seats. And then the Lotus Electric uh, is the uh, Lotus Avora. Oh, sorry, the Lotus Avija. That's it. So the Koenigsegg Gamera the Lo and the Lotus Avija are my two like dream cars. Not the Dark Lotus. Not from, what are you, are you playing? Uh, wait, no, what's the Purple Lotus? Wasn't Purple Lotus the Magic the Gathering card? Okay, build looks good, minus the, I wish you could rotate this thing, but you can't. It's like, just feels like that's the only miss. I bet you there's a screen, if there's a screen on this, I'm gonna basically go bonkers. I, well, I don't see how there would be, there's no USB. It does, it looks like, it looks like some sort of like, if you didn't know that was EK, it could look like a, my own logo, I guess. I just feel like EK should have given us another thing so we could replace the, the logo. Man, that looks good. Now, usually this is the part Here's the deal, guys. Usually this is the part where I turn it over and I say, oh, it's time to cable manage, but this is the part where I'm like, okay, time to do some cable management before we hook up the, uh, before we hook up the, uh, the GPU, but we already did it. <laughs> it's already done. The cable management's basically done. So all I gotta do is now put in the GPU. 
So we actually uh, we're uh, we're we're cooking with uh, we're cooking with extra gas today, guys. Let's see what can we do. We got it. We're at 39. We're at 39. We're 39 subs from 100. We want to get to 250. So we are we are well below the where we want to get today. I'm trying to think of something cool that we could do. Maybe if I do something in between, like I like I'm trying to think of something we can do that I have extra to go from there. The GPU GPU is like three is like 400. Yeah, we're not on pace right now for this. I'm trying to think like GPU is not going to happen because again, GPUs are uh, GPUs are uh, more pricey. We there we will get to a GPU if we get 400 subs and we'll give away a GPU a 3060. Um, but I'm trying to think of what I have now that would be cool. Thank you very much, Demon. And this is for, you have to sub, okay, so again, just as a couple things, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a moment right here and then we'll go to the GPU. So uh, there's two things. We have the 3080 Ti, you gotta, so if you're over it, you have to sub to twitch.tv slash robytech. That gets you an extra entry to our sub only giveaway, which is a 3080 Ti, which we're, we have three streams left for you to get in on. So uh, if you have your over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, pop on over, use your free Amazon Prime subscription and then you get a free entry right there. Uh, Hype Train literally just unlocked too. Uh, the last thing too is that uh, if you do, uh, it also gets you extra entries towards this PC giveaway as well. So you will get extra entries uh, if you are a sub for the PC giveaway that we're building right now. Uh, also, if you want to get extra entries, you can do things like gift subs, which so many people have done. Uh, you can also do things like subscribe to tier two and tier three that gets you five extra entries and 10 extra entries respectively. So that's, uh, that's the stuff that you do. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. If we, I'll do this. If we get to 250 subs, then I will give away a Roby Tech build map. How about that? Because we have those now. So we'll give away a Robitech build mat and you have the choice of either the Robitech build mat or the go or the new egg one. You can make the choice. So yeah, if you want to do that, you want to win something that we got to get to 250 subs and I'll give away a Robitech build mat. So uh, on top of the uh, CPU giveaway, but you guys got to make it happen. So we got to make it happen. So Quacker Jack dropping two gifted subs. We're going to hit uh, hype train here pretty good. And uh, we'll do, no, we'll do the, we'll do the, uh, oh yeah, and we'll do the, no, we'll do the, we'll do the, 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 the mat. The mat seems more better. So not the keyboard and mouse, just the mat. Hey, Achoy, thank you very much for the, uh, is that Andrew Troy? That'd be crazy. Uh, thank you very much for the private subscription. Juggalo dropping 100 bits. We gotta get, we gotta get two more. Let's see if we can get, we gotta get, we're almost to hype train. <clears throat> and then we'll start the uh there's hype train right there black war more darkness getting in there we got to get to 250 guys fell insider dropping with prime sub and there we are we're now an officially hype train ao snipes dropping 10 gifted subs he's trying to make this happen There it is right there, 100%. Thank you very much, Ayo. Okay, so that's taking us up there, guys. We got we got Bittersweet dropping five gifted subs. There it is. We're almost at, we're almost to the 100. J Jetplane, five gifted subs, taking us to 90. We're getting there. We gotta get to 250, so we're almost, we have, a, we're 125, we're almost to halfway. Juggalo Jimmy doing 10 gifted subs, that takes us to 100. We are now, there we are, 101. I wanna see us give us, let's give, let's give something cool away for Christmas, let's give away a mat. Hype fen funicular, yeah. Hi hype funicular on the way up. Man, this this uh, this cable management came out super clean. I'm just just saying, it came out nice. Oak Styler 74 jumping uh, jump, dropping one month. 
Okay, so guys, we're on our way to the $150 Newegg gift card now. DSS Sylvian dropped subscribe with Prime. Okay, I'm gonna hit the next goal. We're at 103. So we're on our way to uh, 50, uh, sorry, a $150 Newegg gift card. We need 150, we're at 103, 104. 104, guys. We're on our way to the next tier. We definitely got the 250. How much, how are we doing on likes on the YouTube? So we definitely, I think we got most of those. So there's our level five, but guys, we gotta get to 250 subs. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I've never heard that before, Roncor. I'll have to tell that to my son. He's a huge trading fan. Veteran plays five gifted subs. There it is, on our way to 150 now. We're almost halfway. And there's J Blue Eyes reminding people need 84 more likes over on the YouTube. There we go, Raphael NL dropping one month. Oh well, yeah, my son is just a huge train fan, so he may know what that means. But I'll have to let him know, Runcor. Music's good. Mystic Wolf going hype. Guys, we have two minutes and 29 seconds left. Flip this over and get ready for our GPU. Yeah. You can't hear the music? Is it not playing? Do you guys not hear music right now? No music. Oh, it's really, oh, it's just really low. How's that? Oh, bittersweet drop in another five gifted subs. I turned it up a little bit. Igor drop in a gifted sub. We're at 116, we're almost halfway. Now we're on the, we're almost on the other way to, on the other side of the train to think that we weren't even near that a couple minutes ago. You guys are awesome. Oh, that is a good idea. I have not played with the 011 Evo. I think it's, I think Lee and Lee's mad at me, to be honest. Cause I haven't even used the Q58 and I haven't used the mini. So that's my own fault. DVL, so I like literally need to catch up with them. What's the difference? Three, five, guys, we're, 118, let's get seven, at least we'll get to halfway. Then we're on our way to the other side. A lot of customization. There it is, 3080. That's pretty cool. We'll have to play with that. Yeah, I think Lee and Lee's mad at me because I got to do the other ones. I'll ask him after I uh, get the Q58 and the Mini Air in. Dewum Slayer, thank you very much. I'm still waiting for your response, Dewum Slayer. Did you respond to me? I answered your question, but are you just waiting? We're seven away. There's Olsen getting us to 120. Okay, well we're on our we're almost on our way there. Okay, I'm gonna get these little plastic things off. I'll reach out to them when I get those done. Okay, it's all good. It's okay. I just want to make sure that you, you, it wasn't something I did. I'm okay with it, Doom Slayer. No rush. Gamu 60. Okay, so we got all those in there now. Yeah, I wish, oh man, I feel, I need, I feel bad. I used to not have this problem. I used to be able to get them in really quick, but I'll reach out, I'll, they'll probably send me one.
Here, here we go. Okay, peel time, guys. Peel time. Thank you very much. Level five, guys. Let's hit those. Let's get those YouTube likes. And then remember, if we want to give away one of those mats, those build mats that you guys have been so wanting, and you don't want to, you want to beat the rush because we're gonna. You're, there's definitely gonna be a rush. There's only 90 of them total. Um, and then uh, we got to get to that 250 mark. Ooh, man, this is not peel. It's not going well. Yeah, peel fail for that one for sure. Okay, we got a lot of peel still left though. How high can we go, guys? Okay, there's those peels. Now there's this peel here. This peel, these, this, this one is the worst peel. It's like uber sticky. There we go. Hold on, guys. Brenda, my wife's calling. You're on the live on the stream. Well, hi. How are you? I'm doing good. We're in the we're peeling we're peeling on the the GPU. Sorry. We're peeling the GPU right now. Peeling all the plastic off the GPU. Sounds Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows they're peeling the sticker. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I will let you go, and I will you. Okay. 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 Everybody says hi. Hi. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. There we go. I'm not in trouble. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. Sometimes she just likes to call because she knows we're streaming and say to say hi to you guys. We're slowly making the peels. Okay, so that side is now officially peeled. One twenty-one, guys. We're almost halfway there. Okay, all the peels on this side now. Ooh, that's nice. There we go. There we go. I think I've got, did I get this one? Yeah, okay, that's peeled. Okay, only thing left. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now everything is peeled. Now for that solid click everybody loves. Did you get the fans? Which fans, tricks? What fans was I supposed to get? I mean, a tray's talking to me, I missed it. Okay, here we go. I know, with the amount of pick, picks, pick, peels on this card. Oh, no click on that one.
Okay, we're in. Oh, you got, oh, the, oh, the fans for the GPU. I see what you're saying. Okay, before we tighten this too much, we want to make sure we get both these in. There we go. Nice and solid so we get no sag. Okay, we are in. Guys, all we have is GPU extensions and PSU, and we're done. We gotta do that triple slot PSU GPU, though. I think I have. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Had a lot of triple shot slot GPUs here. Ugh. There we go. Okay. What are you gonna clean on it, Creamy Thick? Uh, the, for the uh, PC giveaway that's happening later, I believe so. I don't know. I don't know yet if this is worldwide or not. Okay. The PC giveaway isn't uh, today. It's just this is the PC. We're watching the PC get built that we're giving away. Okay, I need this Asia horse in the right direction. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're just getting our getting our cable combs on right now. See. There we go. More cable combs in here. Do do. It's going good. Thank you for asking. Working our way through the cable combs right now and then getting ready to put this in the case. Okay, here we go. First cable. Oopsie. Okay. 
There we go. Now because there's a little bit of a window right here, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this just to keep it out of the view of the build. go. Let's do one more up there. Okay. Okay, that cable's done. We're just trying to keep it out of the view here. So just keeping this look. So I just want to keep this looking nice and clean. Okay, let's grab our four pin. Yeah, it's another three card cable. Yeah, we've had we've had like three of them in a row. Yeah, you can get it off of like New Egg Shuffle. Corsair had it for sale not that long ago. Yeah, you can get DDR5. Tricks for Trey, his 15 month anniversary. Case has got to it's got to bend up and then let's see if I can do it sideways actually that might be better. There 
There we go. Oh, come on. I don't even do that. It doesn't make any sense. Hooking up a doing one cable come. Get that one locked in. <clears throat> yeah, I was reading the comment that somebody said, hey, thing about zip ties is that you have to like redo the cable management. Absolutely, but you see me, you saw me do this entire build in just under what, three hours, four hours? And that was not that, the cable management did not take that long but it always looks way better. So it just comes down to a personal choice of where you wanna, like what you want your build to look like. So, and you know, either way works, but for me, it's a point of pride, right? It's a Robitech machine, so. Okay, so we'll hook up the cable thing there. I'm just getting it managed so I know where it's at. Okay, let's get our last thing. Just just these three. <clears throat> Make sure there's no issue there. You don't need it. So I don't, you don't need it. Okay, let's get our last things in. Okay, last cable combs of the day. And the week. There we go. Okay, two more, three more cable combs and then we'll be done. Ooh, we're almost two away from basically halfway and we're 27 away from hitting 150, which is the next gift card tier. Guys, we only need 50, 14 more likes. So if we can head over to youtube.com slash RubyTech, hit that like button real quick. That'd be awesome. Okay, let's get these in.
Okay, we're almost there. Throw a PSU in, and that's it. Oh, 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 we got one, there we go. Oopsie, come back to me, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, that's one of the things I really love about this case. Okay. And guys, don't forget, we still have that Streaming Plus. If you guys are looking for a, a PC for Christmas, we have that Streaming Plus PC. It's $13.99. We're going to link to it right now if you want to pick it up. Uh, we have one PC. It's packed up, ready to go, um, and uh, basically all set if you want to if you want to get it going. So, and it's uh, it's got a 3060 in it. Uh, and a 10700K. Uh, it's a great little compact PC. We're selling it for 200 off of retail, um, and it's uh, and uh, it's uh, plus shipping and uh, plus shipping and uh, tax. So all you got to do is reach out. There it is, right there. The NZXT H1 Mini Plus. All you got to do is reach out on Discord, and we'll get you squared. So if you're looking for a PC with a 3060 at retail, or even below retail. Just doing that as like a little Christmas thing because we just had some extra PCs we get we, we had to get rid of. So it's just a gift for the community if somebody wants to grab it. It's okay, Creamy. He'll he'll forgive you. It's 32 gigs, 107. You can look at the thing right there, Jedi. Yeah, this is a Fantex case. I don't know if I don't know if these gave it away though. It's all good. I'm just being I was being facetious.
Okay. Last bit. Just gotta put our, we just gotta put our PSU in now. That's it. Oh, what did I do this for? That's not a PSU. That's an accessories kit. I was like, wait a minute, that's not a PSU. I think we can put these in here, actually. Yeah, that's a really thin PSU. <laughs> Not that this is much bigger. I mean, this is big, this is small, which I really like. go. Kind of bittersweet when we're on the end of the last one for the holiday season. Okay. Give it a good smell. Yeah, this is this thing is tiny. Oh, that see this that one doesn't stink so bad. Yeah, I love these G6s. They're new smallest PSUs. They're almost the same. They're they're not quite SFF size, but man, they're pretty close. Okay. There's our little bad boy. Oops. Okay, we need one CPU. Don't need that one. One of those and Single. Yep. There we go. That's our not that, not that. Yes, this. Thing. Okay, now to cut this stuff. There we go. There we go. And there we go, everything is ready to throw away. Okay, so VGA one, plug these two together. Second VGA. Oops. Here we go. CPU. SATA. Plug this in a SATA 4, so it's just all clumped together. Finally, last part.
Okay, everything's in. Last thing we gotta do is mount our Mount our PSU, which has got that weird PSU mount. Well, not weird, it's actually good. You just don't have to worry about cramming it in there. Oopsie. There we go. And okay, PSU is in. Now to just hook up our last cables. Let's start with CPU, because that's always fun. Okay. There we go, CPU's in. Done, clean, in. Okay, so one. Okay, next up, VGA or SATA. Let's do this one SATA. Okay, SATA. PSU tonight, yeah, I like that. Sad a baby. I'll plug you into my AIO. K. 
Okay, there's that one. Next up, we got our PSU. Well, let's actually do our VGA first. Okay, guys, there it is. I like this song. This is, a, this is probably one of my favorites on the, on the playlist. This tune just sounds good. Well, guys, last cable of the build. Wow, Comp USA, wow. There it is, guys. How's it look? Bill looks good, right? Cable managed, everything looks good. The build is done. Muss it all up. Looks too good, huh? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make it worse, looking worse. Build 164 or 165 in the books. And this one's getting some lucky winner is gonna walk away with this one. Okay. Let's make sure the back goes on, which I'm not that I'm worried about it. Seal it up. Easy peasy. All that cable management now hidden. Oh, and this is the song I don't like. Put the cover on the top. And next. There we go. 
build is done. What do you guys think? Fire it up, everybody says. Okay, let's get our cables out. Ugh. Last build before Christmas, guys. Turning it on in three, two, one. Oh wait, no, let's go to mood mode. Mood mode! Got about mood mode. Come to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels see. Come adore on Bethlehem. Turning on mood mode. There we go. Three, two, one. No, uh, some something I didn't hook up. Some RGB I didn't hook up. The top is on. Something the side RGB or something is not plugged in. Something is not plugged in. Some RGB is not plugged in. Oh, that's RGB. We definitely put them all together. I don't know what RGB I didn't do. I didn't see anything that's missing or hanging out. So I have to figure that out. I mean, the PC's in. It does boot, by the way. Here's proof that it's booted. It does boot. Yeah, there's all that fire CUDA, fire CUDA, fighter CUDA. There's that four terabyte, the one terabytes, and everything there is good. I don't know what, something isn't hooked up. I'm gonna look real quick to see if I can just see something that's missing. Because one cable, but everything was like all, the fans are spinning, so it's not, it's not the fan hookup. It's like something else I missed, so. Look here real quick. There's some cable I didn't, that I cable managed in or? So there's only one RGB cable and it's plugged in. Down there. There's nothing else not like, so it's like if the whole, if the whole thing didn't light up, Oh yeah, but the thing is, is like not even the the line. This isn't lined. This isn't lit up either. So this must not be plugged in. Al. I hate having. Well, wow, that's weird. It's like, it's definitely, there's only one plug and it's plugged in. I wonder what that power was then. Does it plug that in too? It's definitely seated now. 
The only thing I can think is that the RGB for the is not on. Is that plugged in all the way? It's plugged in, it's plugged in there. I don't see anything that's not plugged in. Hmm. So the fan, the, D, the RGB everywhere else is plugged in for sure. Oh, there it goes. Okay, just was loose. Okay, found it. There we go. Hey, it's fixed. Just wasn't quite seated all the way. There we go, all lit now. Yay. It was just one, it was one, the the uh, SATA cable wasn't quite plugged in, but we checked this, we checked this. And I didn't have to undo any of my cable management. We want this fully lit. It's the last one before Christmas. And there it is, guys. Look at that, from the front and everything. That looks great. Man, the whole thing looks really good. I'm actually really impressed with how it looks. That is a very pretty build. I have to say, yeah, it's a very pretty build. I like, I really do like the EK water block in this one, you know, so I'm just gonna stand back, back and look at the build a little bit. Like, I really like it. I just wish I could rotate that EK, but it looks really good. Um, the cables, like the whole, like just everything, all the materials look like they fit well together. And I, I'm always a huge fan of, of this part right here. So, and then of course you've got 140 millimeter S, you got a 120 in the back, but all 140s in the front. So plenty of air cooling plus exhaust here at the top. So that's gonna be a nice, very cool build. And then I like how they've done this EVGA uh, with their G6 series. They basically went to like a simpler design. So you don't have all that writing and stuff on it, but it, I think overall the build actually came out very, very clean. Yes, it can definitely run Crisis. Very clean looking build guys. I think that came out very nice and a great way to kind of kick off the holiday season. Did we end up, did we, uh, uh, it's just what I had. I only had a 120 exhaust. I could have done a 140, but we have, we have more exhaust than we have intake. So it's still, it's gonna be, it's gonna be just at, not that you can really get even pressure, but it's pretty close. So yeah, beautiful build. And again, we'll be giving this away here uh, in the next, uh, the plan is, is to start the giveaway here next week. Can it run Oregon Trailer? That might be a little hard. That might be a little hard. Okay, guys. Well, we're at 125. We made it halfway to 250. So thank you for trying, everybody who did. That was huge. So, uh, the, the, yeah, the windows will get installed and all that sort of stuff, and we'll we'll get it all set up and everything like that. Can it run DOS? It, yes, it can run DOS. So thank you very much for trying to get it there. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, we tried to give away one of those build mats, but we were not able to. So I think it, um, we'll find, the Gleam Link's not there yet, Jane, uh, Canadian. So a couple, couple announcements just before we go into the giveaways, because we're gonna be giving away two, uh, two NVMe SSDs, and we're gonna give away the $100, $100 New Egg gift card um, as well. Uh, so a couple things that are to cl uh, house cleaning. One, we have a H1 Mini Plus system that is for sale. We're selling it for 200 less than retail right now, uh, just as a, a gift to the community. If, you want, if you're interested, uh, you can uh, basically uh, go over to uh, discord.gg slash robytech, just DM me. Uh, it's just plus shipping and tax. That's like, it's usually $15.99, it's on sale for, we're selling it for $13.99. 
And that's a 3060 with a 10700K and a one terabyte storage in a uh, H1 mini case. It's actually a really nice system. Um, so there's that right there. Also, we have three more chances to get in on the RTX 3080 giveaway, 3080 Ti. Uh, so we're gonna be giving that away. Uh, so, uh, cause we'll have two streams next week. Um, so uh, if you want to get on that, uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash RubyTech. Use your free Prime subscription. That gets you a free, that's also going to get you extra entries towards uh, some of the PC giveaways as well. Uh, so again, uh, use your free Prime subscription. Now, if you want to get extra entries, you can do things like uh, gift subs, like you've seen so many people do, like Canadian Jacks just did. You can also do things like subscribe to tier two and tier three. That will also get you extra entries also. Uh, we may do a stream tomorrow for Amazon. I haven't talked to Tom yet. So we'll find out tomorrow if that's actually end up being a thing. That'll be the only stream uh, before Christmas if we end up doing it. Uh, next week, we have three builds. Uh, I think we have one commission, but the other one, we're doing the Q58. And we're going to do, I'm going to show this because you guys haven't seen it. Well, some people have seen it. And we're going to be doing this custom water cool. The hope is the last stream of this year. We'll be doing this custom water cool Halo Infinite UNC UNSC build. So EK and everybody's been sponsoring this. So here's the whole case. It's all custom all the way around. So there's that. So the whole thing is all customized by our team, Mike, who actually is there. And then here's the back as well. And it's got that beautiful, um, it's got that beautiful uh, 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 GTX, The sorry, the 3090, uh, 6900 6, XT, the Halo 6900 XT will be going into this too. So, and then uh, that'll be there right there. So there's the, the top, it came out beautiful and it's gonna look incredible. So he did a great job on the case. So that's gonna be, that should be the last build of the year um, and, the, and it's gonna be custom water cooled. So um, that should be a lot of fun. That'll be happening next week as well. After we get back from hanging out with Linus and uh, Luke uh, or Luke and the team at Linus and all that sort of stuff. So um, as well. Um, and then uh, we also have the Q58 build, which I know you guys have been asking about for a very long time. So that build will be happening next week as well. So it should be super cool. <clears throat> yeah, the, yeah, the paint job on this one is nice. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit more subtle than the other one that we did, which was cool. So um, yes, you can, well, yeah, you can just walk up, you can just drive up to Canada. Yeah, so, and I'll go from there. So that is all, that's like kind of getting you through the end of the year. So that's going to be the end of the year. And then uh, it looks like we're going to have two uh, Intel Mod Mondays per month. Uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff coming up from some other partners as well, plus the two giveaways we just finished. So, guys, it has been an incredible year and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and start the giveaways. First one is going to be for two 250-gig NVMe SSDs, the two 250-gig NVMe SSDs. Two gig NVMe SSDs. So that's going to be for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and start that giveaway. Exclamation point community. Because you guys are the best. Two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Uh, starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes left, guys. Man, that build looks so good. That is all cleaned up.
Okay, 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Wow, we're super close to that uh, 150. Okay, and there it is right there, guys. There it is right there. VG Caden from Twitch and D Kastner, 81. And there's Igor dropping five. I think we're gonna get it, guys. D Kastner and then uh, VG Caden. Congratulations to you two. You guys uh, unlocked, uh, you guys both won two, 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Okay, guys, so we are four away from unlocking at least $150 new A gift card. We're 100 away. We're 100 away from unlocking the uh, unlocking that build mat. So and uh, also a CPU. So if we get 104 subs, then we'll be good to go. Well, Red Pyramid Head drops four and says, "You know what? Let's do it." So thank you, Red Pyramid Head. He's amazing. Cappy giving out four more. There you go. Now we're getting. Oh, Skyrim fan giving out four more. <laughs> now we're at 158. There we go. Well, now we have less. So we want to just drop 100 and then we're good to go. We'll give it, we said to give you five, we, I was told to give you guys five minutes. We'll give it five minutes just to go from there. What do you guys, uh, I, you know, honestly, just five minutes to talk to you. But I, I, before I do that, I just wanna, I do wanna say this. Going into the holiday season, I think it's always a good time to say things that you're thankful for and just, you know, to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas and all that sort of stuff, guys. I will say this. I will say that um, one of you guys are some of the best gifts that I've ever had. You know, in my time streaming, I know it's time to get all mushy, but I really do mean it. You guys really are awesome. And I am so grateful, both myself, my family, my team, for you guys making this uh, experience so successful. I could not do this without you. And I could not do this without my incredible, my incredible mod team, my incredible tech team, and everybody else. So you guys are all awesome, and I just want to take a, just a couple minutes to say thank you. I thank you for the literally every time we almost hit 150 subs and uh, all that sort of stuff. And so I am just very grateful for that. Now somebody's like, hey, oh, Coven, there he is, one month, 15 month anniversary. What's up, buddy? It's good to see you. Uh, we don't do deals on uh, on sponsored streams, guys. We don't do deals on sponsored streams, so. So uh, I will say Merry Christmas at the end of this when we get there, but I, I cannot just shout out enough how incredible you guys are. But somebody's like, hey, give away a mat. Guys, I'm sorry, I gotta save those because they're, they're just so limited. I gotta save them for special things. So like, again, I try very hard to uh, be things, but at the same time, I gotta be, we gotta be fiscally smart as well. Um, so let's do this last giveaway. Uh, I think I don't think we're gonna. I don't think I don't see a bunch of uh, uh, subs happening. So let's do this last giveaway. Let's let you guys take a break. Uh, we'll see if anybody's streaming tonight uh, that's doing anything cool, and then we'll go from there. Let's. Uh, so anyway, exclamation point Seagate, exclamation point Seagate today because they were the biggest sponsor for this whole thing. So exclamation point Seagate, and uh, that's a hundred and fifty dollar new A gift card. Starting that right now, guys. And I'll tell you what, during this two minutes, if we, if we get like, if we get above like 220, if we get above 200 and something subs, then I'll give away a mat. If we get to 200 subs at the end of this giveaway, I'll give away a mat. So I feel like that's fair, but we got to get to 200. That's 40 subs away. No caps don't matter. Exclamation point Seagate's fine. Oh, there's enemy just going to resub. Kobe Gut, thank you for the prime sub. Two minutes, guys. One minute left. Holly Jolly, Holly Jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. He wants three months. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Ho, ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see. 
Somebody waits for you. Kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. There we go. <clears throat> Thanks, COVID. <laughs> we'll do we'll do some cra yeah. Here we go a wassailing among the leaves of green. Here we go a wassailing forever to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you your Christmas too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. Okay guys, congratulations to Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy 100. Turtle Boy 100 was the winner uh, of, <clears throat> Turtle Boy was the winner of uh, the, uh, the $150 new gift card. So congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for 163 subs for 100 and, oh, well, it's so funny. I think that's like close. I think we're 166 builds. That would have been cool to end it like on the same number of builds that you have. Uh, but thank you so much. 166 builds under our belt, three left to go, two or three left to go this year. Guys, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Christmas holiday. I hope that you guys stay safe, have fun. I hope you get everything you wish for. Outside of that, let's see if there's anybody to raid. But if not, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, guys. We'll see you and we'll, I'll get to say Happy New Year again. But that was completely a miss on that one, Rubby. Let's see what we got here. Anybody to raid tonight? Uh, Naded. Nah, Nate is playing Halo Infinite. Let's go have him. Let's go see how he's doing. <clears throat> we haven't raided him for a while. We already did. We did. We gave two away for the 500 on YouTube. We already did that. Okay, guys, have a great holiday. Enjoy some Halo. Bye, guys.